I want to create the little sphere. So I create the sphere here. And from the sphere also I need to create the points. So I need to create the scatter, another scatter. Apply here. Also you can uh, work also on the number of scatter, but in this case, I don't uh, want to lose time on speak about the, the number of uh, uh, the scatter. The scatter now it's okay. And now I create the, our transformation transformation sub I want to change the position and so animate my element so we can keep uh, okay this here and I can start for the or move it that here and very simple now you can change 24 24 because I want very fast to see in all signatures of the chip. From here to here, I can move it here. And I want when uh, this point uh, is meet another point here, so when it's meet this point here is change the value of my scale we can see this in um, how it's work with the color before that because uh, with the color you can uh, see very fast how it's work and uh, it's very comfortable to understand that i need to apply here and this is color I can say, for example, the black color. And here I can copy. I can say this is, for example, the white color or red color, because maybe you can see better the color. Now I can apply the attribute transfer Attribute transfer, I have here two inputs and one output. And here I need to connect the geometry. I want to transfer my attribute. I want to create here input where is my geometry is arrive my input, my, my, my attribute I can, I can give. And here is the attribute I want to transfer. Here we can see we have, for example, the source group. We can also use the source group, the destination group with the primitives, or I can use the attribute. And the attribute here, I have the attribute for primitives. Obviously here, I don't work on the primitives. I work on points. And usually when you work with the points, it's uh, very comfortable because uh, Sometimes uh, the geometry, you can use here more points. Maybe the geometry is not more uh, details, but uh, with the points you have uh, the more control on points. So we can see here, ha, huh, I can change, for example, the color. I can transfer the color and I can transfer the position. Every points, every geometry, every elements have by, de by default, we can see have the position so we can transfer every time the position of this element also we see the very fast effects when i click choose for example my attribute transfer by default is transferred automatically all attribute from my geometry to my to another geometry in fact all points now is red now we can talk also about that here I can choose, for example, the color. I can click here for color or write, for example, C, D with capital C. And in condition, I can choose, for example, the condition, how is uh, working, for example, with uh, the, the function is work. And, but it's more important is the threshold distance. The threshold distance we can see if I bring down 
oh, I see my geometry. My point here is red and here is not red. Okay, we can see better maybe with the uh, geometry if I don't uh, apply here the scatter. I see here, if I change the threshold, I change also the dimension of this uh, change from this attribute to another attribute. Another aspect is, for example, the blend. The blend effects you can use here is a few smooth. And here, when I move it, for example, my sphere, I see I pass this attribute. Now I work only with the color, but I can work also with another kind of attributes. For example, I can come back on the C, maybe. I don't want here too much or I can uh, for example change the position here for my sphere I move it here so it's uh, started more f far away and then okay I can move it also this here okay now I want to change also the scale. The scale we see also in the previous uh, lesson, we have the scale we can create the our p scale attribute. 